Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us Nina R. Spear, who's an attorney, author, and speaker, and we'll be talking about her trademark that Thursday's virtual summit. Nina, welcome to the program. Hey, Mike. Nice to be here. It's a really, really exciting thing. It is. Yeah, I remember um, we had you on about a year ago when you were launching this as just an idea. And uh, it was a great idea because now here we are talking about your second annual virtual event. So tell us a little bit about um, Trademark That Thursdays, um, the concept, and then what made you think, you know what, we need to have a virtual summit event about this and you're now building this whole momentum and calls around this concept. Awesome. So one, Mike. The crazy thing about doing something once is that you really want to know if you can replicate it, right? So I was afraid because, I'm going to be honest, I didn't get a chance to replicate one of my virtual summits last year, and I kind of was kicking myself. I was like, dang, I couldn't find enough speakers. I couldn't find people interested. I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate this other one. And it just happened almost a month ago. I've been recruiting speakers for months asking and being denied, asking and being mm-hmm. denied. And then they all came. Decora Davis is the keynote. Then <laughs> all these people came. Yeah. And it's all because of the underlying principle of Trademark That Thursdays. The call to action is to educate others that are not necessarily seen as experts, which are people who are minority in the IP field, to be yeah. educated on trademark, to get the information that they need, and to find value from the fact that we can collaborate together and find success. And I think that brought them together because it's not just Decora, Sonia Lucani is here too, but we'll talk more about them later. But they were really brought in because it's a free event where I don't take their IP, I want them to keep their IP. And most people are always trying to take your IP. They always want your talk. And I think that's really the big, you know, defining moment is that when you do stuff for free, people want to help you if it helps the other people they help. So it's a unique platform for the speakers because of how you are positioning the IP, the intellectual property. But then it's it's also a unique platform for the attendees because you've got to give back um, kind of a, you know, corporate social responsibility cause uh, behind it. Um, It just all plays nicely together. I would say so. I even am surprised at how many people that we got just in the first two or three days of posting because we haven't even finished all the posting of the speakers and we're already, people are registered. I said register and they said we registered without the R, you know, gave it some stank to it. And I'm so excited. Yep. Stand up. They're standing up and taking ownership of, of what they want to learn. And and the cool thing is, if I'm understanding this correctly, if you're an IP attorney, you need to have CLE, continuing um, um, education credits. So this provides that for them. And it provides extra things as well, because you've got a donation aspect to the entire summit. So tell us a little bit about that. Awesome. So not only do we have a summit that's free, because it was pageant off of a law firm that I really admired. They did 12 CLE credits in civil law free every year in December. And I have no interest really in civil law. That's really not my thing. So I was like, I need something that's going to help me be a better me as a lawyer. And I thought to myself, what could I do? And then I learned about sponsoring your own CLE. And I learned that it costs $50 as opposed to paying thousands of dollars for Mm -hmm. other people's CLEs. I can host my own and then provide CLE credit to not just myself, but to all the people that I work with. And that's something cool. And the giveaways are because sponsors, i.e. speakers or random people that don't know us, even big major companies I have approached and they have considered it um, and even responded back to my Instagram messages, which is crazy. They volunteer their own stuff. They are like, yes, 
I want to give to this cause. I want this to be something that you guys have to give away to incentivize people to come. Because I know, right, the great thing about a CLE or a summit or a virtual summit is that there has to be an incentive. Even though there's knowledge, even though it might be free, what do I get if I go that I wouldn't otherwise get? Because I can always go see this speaker for free. She's going to speak somewhere. He's going to speak somewhere. And I can always Google their webinars. Yeah. But what could I get at your event that I couldn't get anywhere else? So the yep. sponsor giveaway portion just gives you that extra push. Like, dang, I really should go because there's really nothing for me to lose and everything yep. for me to gain. And it's hard to think like that when you're busy. <laughs> Do you have any aspect of the summit where there's um, interaction between the attendees and the speakers, you know, like maybe a roundtable or a mastermind kind of a, um, aspect of that? So we have a speed networking event at the very, very end, the last 30 minutes, where you are going to be able to talk to everybody who stays after for about five minutes apiece. It is quick the networking. So you have to be good at it. We have a virtual lounge to do that in. I like that. That's awesome. And then uh, talk a little bit about um, uh, the speakers, because you mentioned a couple names, but you know, you've landed, once you land that, you know, cornerstone keynote, then all of a sudden now it's like, well, hey, we could get some other speakers because this person is, is the real deal. So tell us about your speakers. So one, I'm going to tell you about two. These are my big ones. And then, of course, I'm going to mention the other ones. But y'all just please pay attention to Trademark That Thursdays on Instagram. We are posting all the speaker information on that that platform. So please do that. But Sakura Davis is our keynote speaker. She founded something called the Creators Law Firm to empower, protect, and advance creatives, CEOs, and founders in their legacy-driven call to entrepreneurship. The Creators Law Firm also revolutionized work culture for women by creating a global model for work-life blend and team building. Having filed over 900 trademark applications and boasting a 98.5% success rate, her smarts protection team of savvy attorneys and advocates are the premier choice for trademarks, general counsel, contracts, business formation, and strategy. Can't you just see why she's my keynote? Yep. I just feel like right. I need, I, I cannot believe I am literally fangirling yep. over having to Cora say yes and saying yes for free. Like, I will do this because I want to see this being given yeah. back to the community I serve. And yeah. then the other person, I've been in her group for a while, and this is my workshop master leader, and this is Sonia Lacani. And she is the founder of the award-winning trademark law, tra- trademark law practice Lakani Law. And in addition to managing her firm, she also teaches courses to other attorneys on practicing trademark law, marketing, and working smarter, not harder. Which, if you know me, Mike, I'm always trying to find a way to work yep. smarter, not harder. So those two alone make me so ecstatic. In fact, the speakers in the speaker slate fangirled about these two speakers alone. They're like, whoa, I cannot believe I'm going to be on the same stage as yeah. these amazing women. So those are my two headliners. So imagine that those are my two headliners, the cool people that await you, because we always try to select the people that are truly dedicated to giving you good value information, which means they do their speaking information forms. They fill out their calendar links. They ask us and send us their bios, their speaker descriptions. We always find people able to do that. And that, that makes me excited. Well, I I think that um, I was reading in the latest edition of Success Magazine. They're celebrating their 125th year this year, and um, it's just a a, a spectacular magazine. I think it's like 20 bucks a year, so everyone should go out and subscribe to that magazine. It's really cool. But one of the things that – one of the stories they were talking about is I believe it was Abraham Lincoln that way back in the day knew that knowledge – was so important, but he couldn't afford to buy all the books or subscribe to all of the top newspapers of his time back then. So he went and worked in the mailroom for a newspaper so that as he was delivering and sorting the newspapers, he could read through the information because he gave so much value to knowledge. And so this is what you're, I think that 
um, what's easy to do is easy not to do. So, you know, you don't need to go get a job at a newsroom so that you can do what Abraham Lincoln did, but it's so easy to log on and register for some low price CLE summit and then not pay attention or not attend and not really glean from all of this uh, knowledge. I mean, take notes, listen, get the replays, listen to it again. You know, I think that it's just amazing what we have at our fingertips and we just need to stop and slow down just a little bit so that we can really, really, um, it, you know, assimilate and then um, put the, that knowledge into action. So I love what you're doing there. So when you're thinking of now these speakers and now the attendees are learning from the speakers, um, it's all focused on IP. Um, what about uh, what about the sponsors? You mentioned the sponsors. What are you looking for from sponsors? You know, um, specifically, is there a specific you know a set of sponsors you're looking for, and what should that be for anyone interested in sponsoring the event? That's a great question, Mike. And the best way I can answer this is, look, if you have any legal IT software that an attorney can use, I'm calling you out, Cleo. I'm calling you out, Alt Legal. I'm calling you out, LawPay and DubSado and all of the other softwares that us attorneys need. But when you're in your first year, you can't afford. If you are a virtual assistant that has that potential, the particularity of helping a trademark attorney really revolutionize and take their practice from a four, five-figure practice to a six, seven-figure practice, I'm looking for you. Because yeah. if I provide those items, I don't need to give people money. I yeah. know by experience, because all legal did it for me, so they have a minority grant program for people to try out the software for three months that Alt Legal allowed me to revolutionize how I did intake for my clients. In the last three months of 2020, <laughs> when I was doing trademark stuff, I was able to organize and docket all my clients. Nice. And so much so that in January of 2021, I just completely committed to them. But I needed nice. three months to figure yeah. it out, to figure out how to organize everything. And Alt Legal did that for me, even once. So I know there's somebody else and other people catch on to this conference and all the things it could offer, you're going to change not just my life, but you're going to change people who are minority in this field who are literally part of a statistic that I feel is unfair, which is only 1.8% of lawyers in my field are minority. And I want to change that. And I can't change yep. it if we don't have the funds resources and tools necessary to stand apart like all the other firms. I love it. And and it reminded when you were saying that um, I'm a big quote person. And so I, I, I was remembering this quote that just applies so well to that. People don't need a handout. They need a hand up. They need that, you know, hand, come on, let, let me help you up. And I've been there, done that. And, and you experienced this and you want others to experience that free access to the trial because, you know, it might be a, a larger investment. Well, maybe the three months would give access to go, I'm in, let's do it. So I love that um, you're helping facilitate that. You're helping bring up the next wave of successful attorneys. And so I know that you also um, are using proceeds from the summit to help establish a fund to help young minority women IP lawyers. So tell us a little bit about that. So I'm personally going to volunteer my own. Now, I don't take up any money at this point to register. So it's all sponsors who just want to donate. So if you do decide to donate, you donate through PayPal, all that money is going to do is go to a fund where I'm basically going to help people be able to use VA services. And of course, I have one of the coolest VAs known right now. And of course, if she's open to it, I'd definitely ask her if she'd be open to taking on new clients. But my goal is to try to put people in touch with someone who can help them answer the basics, the things that I needed, phones, emailing, scheduling. That is the most difficult thing to manage and be a lawyer. It yeah. is so easy when people are there to help you. Love it, hundred percent, and and I think that's the that's the whole point is you know it's almost like Nina has has blazed a trail with the machete through the jungle and gone okay I've been there come on follow me I can show you the oh look watch out for this right here let me help you get over that and and many times it's not fully avoiding an issue or a struggle it's here's how to get through it 
And I think that's a big thing that when you guys can come together, even in a CLE environment where you have to get CLEs, but now you're doing this collaboratively and learning from each other and maybe picking up tips and in that speed networking, boy, I think that someone could spend, you know, an hour and a half, two hours just preparing themselves for that quick speed networking time to make sure that they are asking the right questions, watching for the right things to contribute so that they get the most even out of that one little um, uh, nugget of, of time there. So I think you've put together just such a really neat summit, not only from the education and the speakers, but also the give back. So I think uh, you're just doing such great things. And like we said at the beginning of this uh, conversation, this is the second annual. So, I mean, this when you can replicate this and you start getting momentum, and now here comes year three and four and five and beyond, and it can just get bigger and bigger. But the only way it can do that is, come on, you know, it's like, follow us, let's jump in. The water's fine. So um, what are some uh, final thoughts you have on the summit and uh, encouragement for people to register? And then we'll uh, get the get the information for people to take advantage of this event. Awesome. So my final thoughts are this. Like, I have people coming back who spoke last year because I don't have a rule that says you can't come speak again. So if you want to come back and monopolize my stage all you want, I just ask you to come up with a new topic. That's all I will tell you is that yeah. these people are hungry. They are hungry for information about trademarks, and there are trends changing. But this isn't just a trademark conference. You can talk about copyrights. You can talk about patents. You can talk about NIL, which is name, image, and likeness in the athletics field. You're not limited. But the stage is for minority speakers only. And I'm not being rude. I'm not saying you don't have something valuable to add. But I am saying that I have been on many a stage where the only minority person is me. Yeah. And I am tired of seeing that in the space because because the statistic is 1.8, people assume that people who are minority cannot practice in this field or won't practice better than people who are not minority. And that is disturbing. If you watch who the celebrities pick for their IP lawyers, they don't always look like me. So my hope is that people take away from this conference, especially the lawyers, especially the people who want a trademark lawyer, that your trademark lawyer can be black and can be Hispanic and can be a different gender identity and can be a different sexual identity and still be wonderfully and amazingly talented at helping you. And I think that's what we don't talk about. We don't really talk about the difference is the uniqueness of people. And because of that, we get stuck in this mindset of what is in them old law books that was written by people that didn't want me to be here in the seat that I'm in right now. And so I'm telling you, if you want to speak, I will help you through the first speaking event that you will always cherish because you will get your video, you will get your flyers, and all of that. All you got to do is show up with high-value energy. That's it. High-value energy, everything else we can take care of. The event will be live streamed. It will be virtual. I can even do it in the future, pre-recorded, and all you have to do is show up in the live Q&A portions, okay? But I like live events because people get the chance to talk to the speaker live, and that is more fulfilling. So, again, this is going to be something big, and the only reason why I learned about the platform we're using, AirMeet, is because I got accepted to speak at another conference that was using AirMeet. So, if you like it, we'll use it again, but this is our first year ever using it. And don't it look good, y'all? Don't it look good? Uh Click the link when Mike puts it in the show notes. I promise you, you're going to be super impressed. Awesome. Well, Nina, thank you so much for coming on. It's just spectacular to see everything you're doing and the the way you're giving back to the industry and just this crusade that you're on. Literally, I mean, when you when you think about um, you know, years down the road looking back on, you know, you're going to have someone contact you saying I was a young girl looking up to what you were doing and it was because of what you did that caused me to get into this field. And now I'm able to do the same and replicate back and bring more and more people in. So I love the work that you're doing. Thank you so much for coming on. What's the um, best way that people can learn more and register about the summit and learn more about what you're doing? 
All you guys got to do is go to TrademarkThatThursdays at gmail.com, and you can email us. We will send you all the details. If you don't know how to get there and you're not sure how to spell it, just remember Thursdays has an S at the end, and you can do Trademark That from that, from that point on. But look us up on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, Trademark That Thursdays. I promise you, you will find information about this event. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nina. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.